my god, netherite in the chest. What a lucky seed. I'm going to be reacting to the fakest Minecraft speedruns on the planet. And it gets even more insane as the video goes on. This speedrunner spawns in and there is instantly just a bonus chest that only has some wood and a couple of pickaxes. Also, for some reason, there's a boat in the river just next to his spawn. So he clearly forgot to break it before he started recording. He then gathers some wood and then makes some more wooden tools. But he thinks it would be a good idea to dig straight down in the specific block to find a shipwreck underground. <laughs> Wait, I swear that's not even possible. The shipwreck ends up having nothing other than some paper. But as he turns around, there's a hilarious cut Bruh. where there's now a nether portal. It was very clearly placed in by himself in creative. Once in the nether, the runner fights some blazes, but ends up dying because he was only carrying wooden tools. Instead of going back to get all his loot in the nether, he stays in the overworld and finds a village that has a very suspicious hole leading straight down into the stronghold. But you may be thinking, but Pineapps, he doesn't have any eyes of ender. Well, yeah, you are right in saying that, but this guy doesn't need them as he just runs into the portal room and the whole portal is already lit. This guy either has some insane luck or just made this himself. And then out of nowhere, the runner gets into the end and the dragon is already killed. But he must have used some commands or something because the whole world is messed up and the end portal didn't even work. This speedrun was actually terrible. The first speedrunner spawns in and is inside of a village. He then looks inside of the blacksmith chest and there's some pretty good stuff. But he suddenly goes outside and there's just one, two, three iron golems. Something that is just impossible unless spawned in manually by the speedrunner himself. You also probably think that he's going to kill him for the iron. But he just runs past him into a cave to find some diamonds. Furthermore, in this cave there's mob spawner for endermen. But these endermen are just standing still and not even attacking him. But in reality, he most likely used a command to spawn them in. He runs further into the cave and manages to find those diamonds that he was looking for. But, um, yeah, just roll the clip. Bruh. Yeah, he is clearly using a wooden pickaxe to mine those diamonds. And if I'm correct, you don't get anything usually when mining diamonds with a wooden pickaxe. So this world must be broken. Unsurprisingly, he mines the obsidian with it and then makes a nether portal. What will this guy pull next? But soon after, he finds the forbidden blaze spawner, where once again the blazes are not moving and not even fighting back. I'm sure the moderators at this point are having a great time reviewing this because now the nether portal he used has been broken and there's a new one directly behind it. He must be super lucky because now when he goes through this one, he goes straight into the stronghold. Following that, he makes eyes of ender and fills up the portal. And now that he's in the end, he manages to actually die from the dragon. He was just terrible. This guy spawns in and there's already some blocks broken. So he clearly forgot to record the start. But as he picks up the wood, you can see just how fake this is. Oh, and yeah, you can also see there's another player in the same world. I'm pretty sure that's not allowed. And then he breaks into the ground and manages to find a hole that leads down into the pro miner. Oh, look at this. It's the pro miner. The runner then asks for some things and then gets given some diamond armor and tools. Pro Miner, can I have something, please? He mines all of the miner's diamonds, so basically he just robbed the miner of everything that he has. And he sounds pretty happy about it. Let's go, look at all these diamonds. He then talks about how all of this is from the new Minecraft 1.18 update, and yeah, I'm not too sure about that. But one thing that did annoy me was the fact that he missed one diamond. Like, yeah, he obviously either placed them himself or got his friend to place them, but come on, you missed one. He then murders a few chickens and asks for some more from, I'm guessing, Notch, and then he gets them. Uh, let's get some more. I want some more chicken. Let's all right, yeah. Oh, it's been super rare glitch kind of thing. Yeah, I'm not too sure that's a glitch. He then starts running to the village, and I think his friend messed up because he flies into the video and then straight away turns around and flies back. Let's go, yeah. But I'll give it to him because he plays it off pretty well, and he says it looks like Hero Brian. Oh wait, who's that? Is that Hero Brian? I think that was Hero Brian. And then he starts begging him to get some stuff. And then the exact same person that was the miner flies down and yeah, just watch. Personally, I think the speedrun is a very bad person. Firstly, he spills all of the miner's stuff. And then he scams Herobrine for loads of really good stuff and doesn't even say thank you. There's then a cut to where he's now next to a massive nether portal, which has no use at all. But he makes his way through and then falls and loses half of his health. But this menace doesn't care one bit because he gets under a tree and it starts raining really OP stuff. Like a diamond sword and straight up enderman. And then as he's killing them, eyes of ender drop from the sky. And yeah, that's not rare. It's just impossible. He then gets teleported back to the portal from his friend. And then we see a familiar thing happen again. His friend flies over the top of him and... And he asks for some things and they come flying back from the sky but this time he says please so i guess that's fine and then he gets so excited he forgets what he's doing and uh yeah he just cuts the video i guess he died or something this next speed run i'm hoping was a joke because it was actually really funny but it starts off as the runner finds euclid i think that's how you say it who is apparently a very rare occurrence
occurrence in Minecraft. I'm sure even if you've never played Minecraft, you could probably tell this isn't legit. But let's just see what he does next. He goes to get some wood and then he comes back and there is an insane amount of sugarcane on the floor. I have no idea where that even came from because it wasn't even there a second ago. He uses it to craft some paper and then he tries with Euclid to get some of the best armor and tools that I've ever seen. Honestly, it has every single enchant on there. That's possible. There's also a description on each piece. He also trades with the villager to get tons of eyes of ender and also golden apples. Then he makes his way down into a hole to find a pre-made end portal where he goes into the end. I'm really hoping the speedrun was ironic because if it wasn't, it was nowhere near close. This speedrunner spawns in and he gets some wood and makes a wooden pickaxe. He then begins to start mining and then gets some stone tools and goes back up to the surface to get some flint. Everything actually looks pretty legit right now as he continues his good run by finding some iron and then also some coal for some smelting. With this iron, he makes a water bucket and decides to go on the run. I'm guessing he wanted to find some sort of lava pool or ruined portal to get into the nether. He then ends up in another cave for some reason, getting some more iron to where he gets jumped by a skeleton and a spider. And I'm hoping you can see what's next because it's pretty obvious. So after this tragic death, he runs towards a similar place and buries himself alive by this tree. And suddenly you can see the timer changed to four minutes ahead. And there's also a clear cut to where he was facing. He most likely just gave up at this point because he got so annoyed that he died. And when he came back from the hole, yeah, really. And to make it even worse, he makes his way into one of the houses and there is a chest inside of the ceiling. And there is now full netherite armor, end portal frames, and an elytra with fireworks. But also for some reason, there's stacks and stacks of diamond blocks. I'm not sure why, because he already has a ton of netherite gear and wouldn't be able to use these diamonds anyway. He again messes up even more because he forgot to give himself some eyes of ender. So yeah, he just goes into creative to get them himself. I really think this guy's just given up with everything and cannot be bothered to speed run anymore. And you can tell why he has to cheat because even with all this netherite armor and tools, he manages to die twice in the end. How? The next guy spawns in and gets some wood and makes some planks. He then runs towards this very weird looking tower of dirt that I'm pretty sure was placed in by the runner. After placing the crafting table and making a wooden pickaxe and a button, he begins to dig straight down in this specific block to get some stone. But he just keeps on going down and manages to find a ruined portal underground that does not look like as they should. As you can see, there is a clear indication that this is fake because of this massive gold cross in the wall. And also the fact the portal is already lit. Inside of the chest by the ruined portal, there was nearly full diamond armor, but only nearly because he forgot the helmet. I'm not sure how that worked. There's also a full set of diamond tools. There was more questionable things like two stacks of bedrock and also two blocks of netherite. Only two. But he has no iron or anything to make a smithing table, so he can't even change any of his tools or armor to netherite. So there was literally no point in this at all. After breaking all of the gold in the wall, he gets into the nether and types in the command to locate a nether fortress. I'm not sure if this guy knows he's not supposed to cheat or anything, but he's not hiding it well. After fighting some blazes to get some blaze rods, he gets so low that he has to block himself next to the nether portal. He's then stuck inside of here on half a heart until he does a command to give himself 64 stake so he can heal. And then even after that, he still manages to die to the blazes. Like he is so bad. He goes into creative and then makes his way to a stronghold and then gets into the end and dies again after doing the command. That just got worse as it went on. This final guy spawns in and wait, that's me. If you want to watch another one of my fake speedrun videos, click this one on the screen right now. You'll enjoy it.